Back to our top story for a moment, and to be honest, it's very likely tomorrow night's top story and the next night. The once every four years Iowa caucuses. We're all watching what happens there because so much rides on the people of Iowa. For a state with fewer than three million residents, Iowa packs a big political punch. It is not only the first test, it's the first real test after months and months of talking. Iowa caucus voters do care about who's going to win in November. Right. Iowa caucus voters do care about who's going to win in November. Right. Iowa will play a huge role in the 2008 race. This is the big day in Iowa. It is the big caucus day in Iowa. You have more influence on who the next president of the United States is going to be than anybody else. So um, what effect, if, uh, well, if, if any, do you think that uh, tonight's numbers, uh, the results of the caucus are going to have on the upcoming primaries in New Hampshire oh, and South huge, Carolina. Oh, huge, huge, huge. I mean, it. And that, as clearly as anything else, speaks to the importance of the Iowa caucuses just six and a half weeks from today. Nomination. I think Mike Huckabee wins Iowa pretty cleanly and goes on to get the Republican nomination. We've got a chance to make history on January 3rd. Be a part of it. Make sure to show up to caucus. Let's go change the world. If you, if you win this election, yep. you change the rules of modern American politics. That's what's on the line tomorrow night. Barack Obama, the senator from Illinois, the junior senator from Illinois, has won the Iowa caucuses, the Democratic caucuses in Iowa, the first big test of the 2008 presidential campaign. I'm telling you, Keith, history, this is Lexington and Concord. This is going around the world right now. They said this day would never come. Because tonight what we have seen is a new day in American politics. It starts here in Iowa, but it doesn't end here. It goes all the way through the other states and ends at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue one year from now. How much are the Iowa caucuses really like the rest of how we vote in America? How democratic is the Iowa system? If Ron Paul wins, some Republicans are going to say, who cares about Iowa? Do you think that it is uh, American in the modern era that Iowa gets to go, go first? And um, I think we might actually be seeing something bigger in the works here, the demise of Iowa. The hard truth here is that Ron Paul winning Iowa itself would not matter very much. If Ron Paul wins here, what then? Well, the Ron Paul people are not going to like my saying this, but to a certain degree it will discredit the Iowa caucuses. But I wonder if there is an extent to which the organizational principle of Iowa does make it not only less democratic, less representational, but a little bit more corrupt. I mean, if Ron Paul wins, then, then what? Then you Iowa go, does, to, then Iowa go does, to New Hampshire Iowa and does, start from scratch. Iowa, Iowa doesn't matter. Uh, at the end of the day, Iowa doesn't matter. Start from scratch in New Hampshire? It's totally agree with that. I'm at it would make the caucuses mostly irrelevant, if not entirely irrelevant, if Paul wins. That result would also mean roughly nothing to the rest of the presidential race. He doesn't like Ron Paul, and he's not going to like Iowa if they have the bad judgment to vote for this guy. Uh, all this noise is going to come to an end relatively soon. Maybe Ron Paul wins Iowa, but who cares? Soon. Maybe Ron Paul wins Iowa, but who cares? Yeah, I'm going to say that House Democrats are the winner this week. Iowa is not only a weird system for picking somebody, they are a non-representational system. In this I think Iowa may lose its power politically if they do that this time. What does it say about Iowa? So if I was a chairman of the Iowa Republican Party, I'd be a little concerned here that the state's credibility is being undercut. If Iowa took him seriously and Iowans took him seriously, maybe we shouldn't take Iowa all that seriously. I'm not, let's not even talk about what happens in Iowa. I, I'm not, let's not even talk about what happens in Iowa. I, if Ron Paul wins Iowa, we just take it out.